Good morning, welcome again to my channel. Now, today we are going to be looking at sperma rank correlation. Now, we have two various types of sperma rank correlation, but before we go into our videos, I would like you to like my page, subscribe to my page, turn on the notification button for more um, videos and highlights. Now, let's go straight to our sperma calculation. Now, because of time, we are going to be very fast and just follow me and you'll get what we're trying to do. Now it says the table shows the sale of X and S versus Y of a company in millions of naira. Now we are asked to calculate a rank correlation coefficient. Now what they have given us is a total of the sales and a total of the expenses, but it has not been ranked. Now the first thing that is demanded of you is to rank all of these figures that you've seen here. Now how do we rank? Say if we have X. Now, x is 50. Now I'm going to rank it in um, descending order. So I'll start from 71, which is the highest. After 71, we have 70, we have 66, we have 62, we have 60, we have 50, we have 50, and we have 40, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, we are going to give it rank. In terms of position, now we start from the highest, which is 71. It takes first position. Do we understand? So this is our rank. Rank X is first. Then 70 is second, 66 is third, 62 is fourth, 60 is fifth, 50, 50 is 6th and 7th but we are not going to put it 6th and 7th because the two of them have the same score now what do we do? just do the rank you find the average of the rank 6 plus 7 divided by 2 6 plus 7 will give us 13 divided by 2 will give me 6.5 so instead of 6 and 7 I will put 6.5 6.5 because we we'll look for the average of 6 and 7 because they have the same scores. Now, this will then give me 8 because after 6 and 7, we've got 8. Now, let's come over to Y and then we have rank Y. Under Y, arrange also in descending order. The biggest is 60. After 60, we have 55. We have 48. 48 appears in three places. After 48, the next biggest is 35, we have 35, no sorry, we have 40, we have 35, and we have 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, correct. So 60 is 1, 55 is 2, this is 3, 4, 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8. Mind you, these have the same score. So what do we do? We look for the average. How do we look for the average? We have 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by the total number of sums, which is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 5 is 12. If we divide that by 3, it will give us 4. So I'm going to remove this rank here. And this will be 4. This is 4. This is 4. That is my rank. 448. Then I'm going to pair the two of them together. I will draw a table. We have x, I have y, I have rank, we have rank x, we have rank y, I have d, then I have d squared. Now, I'm going to bring this down, not this uh, arrangement in descending order, take it the way it is. So, x when x is 50, student x got 50, y got 48, when it got 62, y got 40, when it got 40, x is 40, y is 35, when x is 50, y is 30, when x is 71, y is 48, when x is 60, y is 55. When x is 66, y is 48. And when x is 70, y is 60. Now that we've gotten is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to confirm that I have all my digits correct. Now, student x, 
When it was 50, he got rank 6.5. Then, Y, when it's 48, got rank 4. When student X62 scores rank 4, Y, student X40 got 6. His rank is 6. X40, the rank is 8. Y35, the rank is 7. X50, the rank is 6.5. Y30, the rank is, oh sorry, yes, 7, okay. no, we are correct, 30, the rank is 8, then X71 is 1, Y48 is 4, X60 is 5, Y55 is 2, X66, 66 is 3, Y48, 48 is 4, X70 is rank 2, Y60 is rank 1. Now we've arranged them according to their rank. Now the next thing we are going to do is to find the difference. D stands for difference. 6.5 minus 4 will give me 2.5. 4 minus 6 will give me minus 2. 8 minus 7 is 1. 6.5 minus 8 will give me minus 1.5 1 minus 4 will give me minus 3 5 minus 2 is 3 5, uh, 3 minus 4 is minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 Now, D squared, different square means multiply the difference by itself Now, if we are multiplying the difference by itself 2 point, to square it 2.5 square, which is 2.5 multiplied by 2.5 will give me 6.25 Minus 2 squared is 4. In mathematics, minus my, uh, multiplied by minus will give us a positive sign. So our negative sign is eliminated because of the square. 1 squared is 1. 1.5 squared is 2.25. I think that should be correct. Minus 3 squared is 9. 3 squared is 9. Minus 1 squared is 1. 1 squared is 1. Okay, now we are going to sum all of these d squared together. So summation of d squared will give me, we have 6.25 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2.25 plus 9 plus 9 plus 1 plus 1, which gives us 33.5. Now we've got in summation of sigma d squared, which is 33.5. Now it brings us to our formula, which is rank is equals to 1 minus 6 um, summation, okay, open bracket, d squared divided by number, that is the total number of data that we have, open bracket multiplied by the number squared minus 1. 116 are constant in our formula. Summation e d squared is 33.5. So this will bring us to rank equals to 1 minus 6, 33.5 squared. But we've already squared it minus our total number is 8, which gives me 8, 8 squared minus 1. Now this will give me rank is equals to 1 minus 6 open bracket 33.5 close bracket divided by 8 8 squared is 64 minus 1 so rank will give me 1 minus this minus um, multiplied by 6 will give me 201 divided by 64 minus 1 is 63 63 multiplied by 8 is 504. So we have rank is equals to 1 minus 201 divided by 504. Give us 0 0.3988. Now if we subtract 1 from that, we have 1 minus 0 0.3988. It, it gives us rank rank is 0 0.6012 
which is if you are plus mate, this will give you one, meaning that it has a positive correlation. So from this, the, the correlation between the sales and the expenses is a positive correlation because it got to one. Now, any figure that is less than one is a negative correlation. That brings us to the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification button. Thank you.